Today, I'm gonna make for you the same recipe I made for my wife on our very second date. Miso poached cod with seared broccolini. And we've been married for five years and I've been cooking for her ever since. So let's just say it might be a seal the deal kind of recipe. So let's do it, what do you say? Let's do it. Okay, so in the bowl I have one tablespoon of room temperature unsalted butter. And to that I'm just mixing in one teaspoon of miso paste. Now miso paste is fermented soybean paste and it has that umame flavor that everyone talks about, you know? Wait a second, the first time you made this for me, didn't you do a 24 hour marinade? Uh, yeah, I really wanted to impress her, so I did a 24 hour sake and miso marinade, but we've been married for over five years now, so you're lucky if you get a 24 minute marinade these days. Hey, as long as he feeds me. <laughs> that's, that's what I like to hear, lowered expectations are always a good thing. So I have a nice beautiful piece of cod here, I'm gonna season it with a little bit of salt. Then I wanna bring a little bit of acid to the party, right? A little pop. And I'm just gonna zest some lime zest down here. And why don't you cut up some green onions in the meantime, Beth? Okay. Right, good knife skills there. I'm gonna steal a couple pieces here of green onions and just sprinkle it on this side. Maybe do a few more. It's gonna give it that nice sweet green onion kiss. And then I'm gonna take my miso butter here and just put a nice pad on top and kind of just smush it down. And what's gonna happen is after we seal it up, which we're gonna do in a minute, that butter is gonna melt slowly into that fish and just infuse so much flavor in there. Now for the wrapping, we turn it over to the lovely Dusty. I just cut a piece of plastic wrap and we're gonna try to seal in the fish the best we can. So this is creating a nice pouch and it's just gonna seal in all those juices and infuse the flavor really deep into the fish. So I'm tying off the ends here and getting all the air out. Mm -hmm. Just cut off the excess here. And for double insurance, let's yes. put one more layer. If you're making this for a second date, it's gotta go smooth, so take that extra step, trust me. So, the guy wants to cook for me on the second date. And he also offered to pick me up. This is too good to be true. Meanwhile, I'm thinking, number one, if I pick her up, I won't have to pay for the cab ride over. And number two, if I cook for her, instead of taking her out to dinner, it's much cheaper. Guys, cheap out, cut corners, it works. All right, now we're gonna poach this guy in an immersion circulator or a sous vide. So my friends at Nomiku hooked me up with this cool sous vide. And if you watch culinary cooking shows, you know this is all the rage in the molecular gastronomy kitchens. So this is gonna cook the fish to exactly 122 degrees and I don't have to worry about overcooking it. And now it's time for the other part of our romantic dinner, which was broccolini. broccolini. Oh, we set it together. <laughs> Do you even know what broccolini was back in the day? No clue. <laughs> All right, why don't you season it with a little bit of oil? See, from not knowing what broccolini is to being a discerning foodie, times have changed. A big pinch of salt, and then why don't you oil the pan too there, babe. I'm gonna crack a little bit of pepper in there. So that's probably gonna go for about seven or 10 minutes until it's nice and golden brown. All right, so those broccolini look perfect. Why don't we take them out and put them in the bowl, and the fish is only a few minutes from being ready. A little squeeze of lime juice will just kind of heighten the flavor. And let's get our fish out. It took about 20 minutes to get there. It's perfectly cooked to 122 on the dot. And then this is the messy part, so I'm guessing this is what I'm gonna do, right? Go for it. Okay, we gotta cut it out of its tight package. So first, let's plate up our fish here. And look, that butter and those herbs just kind of soaked right into the fish. It is literally flaking apart. That is about as tender as you can get in the beauty of cooking it in the immersion circulator. And this is the meal that's gonna make you look like you worked really hard, but it's no sweat off our back. Just don't tell any of us. That'll be our little secret. To really make it pop, I'm gonna hit some lime zest on the top for color. It's a really simple recipe, but it looks so sophisticated. And check that out. Miso poached cod with seared broccolini. Our food from our first date and seven years later? Second date. <laughs> Already forgetting. Oh God, give me some medication. And seven years later, we're still eating like this almost every night of the week. So if you want this, go to Seal the Deal second or third or fourth date recipe. It's below in the description box. Guys, girls, let me know how it goes. What should I do, babe? Subscribe to Flav City. Guys, we're rocking out new videos every week for all the fellow home cooks out there. And if you want to see Desi and I make an amazing dairy-free, gluten-free brownie that is the bomb, click the video below us. And as always, keep on cooking. See you next week. Peace.